Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Lone Star, a spaceship building strategy roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. From what I gather on the Steam store page, that's a semi-accurate description of the game, but it seems like a very unique thing. They even call it a deck builder. From what I can see, I don't know if I agree. Let's go on in and let's figure it out together because it seems like it's doing something new. So I think seeing will be a better thing than explaining. Dear Bounty Hunter, you are about to embark on a journey of bounty hunting. Great. <laughs> I would I hope. <laughs> to enjoy the premium services of the Bounty Hunter Association, please enter your basic information. Choose one spaceship. I mean, I oh, got the one option. It's a demo after all. Choose a pilot. Hey, how about the how about the human? Entry complete. Confirm that your information's accurate. Sounds good. Here's a quick tutorial from the Bounty Hunter Association. Let me see, there's a criminal nearby. Go catch him for your first reward. All right. Enemy's turn, four, four, two. We take these, we put these here. It's saying, oh, we're, like we're gonna, we're neutralizing those, is that the uh, the idea? No empty slot. Oh, interesting. Can I unput those in? Doesn't look like it. Pair. There are three columns of numbers in the middle represent your strength, the outcome, and the enemy strength. The outcome is the absolute difference between the strength of both sides, representing the damage you're about to deal or receive. So we should be doing four in the middle. And that two and the two went up to... Uh, Six. It's got an, some kind of extra buff, I guess, because of this. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, neat so far. It's a math -em up That's what it is. Um, excuse me. That's so cool. I love that. I don't care about anything else in the game. That's enough for me. Uh, thank you. I'm sold. The attack unit will convert energy points into strength in the same column. Support produces various supportive effects. You can differentiate between the two types based on the icon color in the upper right of the unit. Yeah, attack, attack, defend. After loading an energy, generate another energy that is one point higher than the loaded one. So I can pop in that. Can I pop in the blue? No, it has to be blue. So there's a blue slot. I couldn't... Oh. I can put that one in. I thought it was like orange and blue. So we've got ourselves a four. So this is just a gentle, all right, I got to tell you, I'm interested already. You know what? Maybe we should have done the three. And th when loading two energy at the same point, gain two energy. Okay. For two strength. It's almost like, um, you know what this would remind me of if these randomly selected energies were just slightly differently described? It'd be like a, just like a dice-based RPG. Uh, you can consume one fuel to move your ship upwards, like a Dicey Dungeons or something. You know, that's what I'm... Which... Big yup. Consume one fuel to move your ship upwards or downwards, one chance per turn. After each battle, a certain amount of fuel will be restored. Experienced bounty hunters will use movement to avoid enemies' strong columns. Interesting that we got this mechanic the same, like, week we played Cobalt Core. Like, two games doing a similar idea at the same time is very, very neat. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we want to move on up here. My question is... Does this... This misses? I suppose what I should do is pop it here. Like, that would have been the better idea. So, yeah... I wonder, I'm trying to figure out these slots. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I think red is maybe like a very specific thing, and then a blue is maybe like an any. Seems to maybe be the case. Or blue can just be one of these. Because I was able to put the red one in the blue slot. Eh, doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Th these are not going anywhere anyways. I guess we could have seen if they um, could be reserved for next turn, but my guess would be probably not. All right. Let's bump that up. We got five coming in here. You know what? 
Oh my lord. You poor sap. All right. God, that the way that that's visualized is very exciting. I don't know. There's something about it. It's just like that lightsaber duel kind of vibe, you know? Okay, so we move up. Um, we go for like the five and the five. We get a duel. Dead, dead. Both do a kill. That's really cool. And I'm going to take a wild crack and say we can adjust what kind of pieces are on the ship. Star coins, fuel, choose a unit to obtain. High energy cube after loading an energy, generate one three point orange energy. When loading a white energy, gain two strength. Can I see, like, what kind of. Um, is there, like, a deck that we have? I mean, is that why it's a deck builder? Because those little. The energy. Are, I don't know. We'll see. Surely there's a way to figure out what kind of energy we have drawn up. Unless it's completely random, which would be surprising. When loading a white energy, gain two strength. After loading energy, generate... You know? Sure. Obtain units need to be equipped to your ship to bring it to the next battle. The total weight of the equipped units cannot exceed the ship's weight limit. Gotcha. Can I pop this here? Does that even help? Oh, shoot. After work, you can enjoy the vacation days provided by the association. Planets, vacation planets are marked with event types that you'll encounter in the days required. Longer vacation events tend to be more valuable. I feel like this is um, generally going to be good enough. I'm hoping that this can be put here as well. It's a core, not the gun itself, so I feel like it can. Unknown unit to the unit. I'll get another unit. A bear folk space courier knocks on your spaceship's window, claiming that he's holding a parcel for you, but the information does not seem to match. He asks what your name is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a support unit. Make up a random name. The absent mind courier says that the name of the parcel matches yours and hands over the parcel to you. When you open it, you'll find an energy nexus inside. After loading an energy, all nearby units load one three point white energy. Okay. Nearby. Oh, bless you, game. All games that have something about the word nearby or adjacent should give you this the second you get, like, the first time you get, like, nearby or adjacent. This is really good because sometimes nearby means, you know, the diagonals as well. Sometimes it does not. Sometimes adjacent does. Sometimes it doesn't. So, good to know. Front, behind, upper, lower. Great. And it also looks like, uh, yeah, you can also see on the symbol there. There's just no way that you uh, you get it messed up. It's perfect. One three-point white energy. I can probably put it in here. I don't know. It looks like this has to be an orange and a blue. I just don't know why I was able to put in a blue before. End vacation. I'm ready to fight you. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, right? Surrender before the... Wait, hold on, what? Enemy ships have durability, and winning a shockwave in each column will reduce their durability by a point. When it reaches zero, they can't take an action next turn. Reducing their durability to zero is a common winning strategy. Winning a shockwave in every column will reduce their durability by a point. Gotcha. So it does seem like if we want to win in every column, then moving up here is going to be a good call. Okay, this ship can move upwards or downwards. One, good to know. Loading an energy all nearby, gain one three point white. And it has to be a blue though. And a white one can't be put in here. Okay, that was my that was my question. I mean, that's so effective though. And we're obviously gonna move this core back then. I don't have another three, so I can't do any kind of bonus there. I'm not uh, not too worried about it. We're not winning this row as a result, though. Not too worried about it. 
because this <laughs> row is winning by like 12. Yeah, we just didn't even care. This is nuts. It's kind of like a, almost like an engine builder. I don't know. We're, this video is going to be me trying to figure out what the hell it is by the end of it. It's its own thing, dude. That's what it is. But like this ship is like an engine builder. Uh, if the energy to be loaded is the last one in hand, generate an energy. Has to be oranges, though. Initiate one, generate a point of white energy. Clicking on a unit triggers its effect and puts it on cooldown. The number... Uh, it looks like it's an every turn thing. Oh, if it was a blue, I'd be all in. I feel like this pure white core can take a one very well. This is a rare. Sure. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really into this already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I end up gushing, but I'm really into this already. <laughs> we have four vacation days. Star coins, unknown, star coins. Hit me with an unknown. Restore, gain two fuel. Use to move during ship battles. So that's what fuel's for. Gotcha. Just apologies, I don't... You can counter to vote bear folk follower of the Adeptus Mechanus, who uh, sold all his belonging in hope of purchasing armor on a spaceship to modify his own body. He wants to possess the universe's strongest body. Take a damage, get three star coins. Alright. One for one's the best I can do, buddy. Ah, uh, we'd be overweight if we do that. Wait, one. So... Hmm. Anderson. What would we... I could argue with um, swapping this for this. It's the fact that this loads of white energy is the problem. I think we'll wait until we have a different plan. There it is. Hey, the energy generated during battle contains two types of energy resources. Uh, point energy resource, one through nine, and color energy resource, white, blue, and orange. The energy generated during it's two types during battle. Three energy is generated each turn with an additional one in the first turn. You can have up to ten energy at the same time in your hand. So, like, I have ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. And, like, I can roll one through two, three, four, five. And then it also does a randomized roll of one, two, like, three whites, two blues, and an orange. And I'm sure we'll be able to modify this. So, I guess that's the deck building part. All right. Danger level elite. Wow. You cherish these lives. But I like, what was that? So, to be sure, three energy will be generated with an extra one at the end. Your energy will be retained in the max amount of energy. Okay, energy can be retained. The shield will take damage first and fully recover after each battle. Make good use of the shield to mitigate damage effectively. Okay. If I'm going to be taking three to the shield to do this, I guess I don't know how much I mind. I might be fine with just going absolutely crazy here on this. Alternatively, I move up. I move down, rather. Do I need to, though? I really love the shield idea, though. That that's very helpful. I'm gonna I'm willing to take a little bit here. Do you have some kind of like passive? During the showdown, each victory of a column will reduce the enemy's durability by one. When it reaches zero, they become okay. They stop for a turn. Oh, you poor sap! I do think that that's worth it, regardless. Pop through. We get the eleven there. Probably should have put it there. In fact. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the gentle tap device now. I probably should um, 
bump up my orange. Well, I didn't have an orange, I guess. Never mind. We could have done more damage. I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to matter. Interesting. We should be able to... I wish we could get a three in there as well. I'm not loving the gentle tap for, for what we... Considering our blue should go in the energy nexus. So I think I might actually sub this out. It doesn't matter that we're all good. We win. We are going to want fuel though. So I'm glad we get one. Get a treasure. At the end of a showdown, change the energy with the highest points in your hand to an orange. That's kind of nice. At the start of the first turn, all attack units gain two strength, which I'm pretty sure strength is just what damage is. I think strength is damage. At the end of a showdown, Okay, a showdown is a turn, I think, basically. Permanent effects. Properly combining treasures and units is key for success. Ship, okay, ship's weight limit is also up, so we don't even have to worry about it. Uh, this is the weaker of my columns, because this can get a combo of a wombo variety upgrade. Repair. I, I don't need the repair, do I? I know I can, but... Perform a unit upgrade for four damage. 90% chance to perform a unit upgrade? Oh, come on. It's got to work. Place a suitable unit. If the... Oops. If the energy to be loaded is the last one in hand, so it can be a... Oh, it can be an orange or a blue. Orange or a white. Ooh. That makes that way more appealing. What's this do? Oh, we can put the white one in there. Okay. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good. Because then we can save the blues for this. Hmm. It's tricky. We got something going here. Where if, we up if we can upgrade both this and that, we're sitting kind of pretty. Because if we could use the blues too, then we could save our blues. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. I think for now we'll do that. So we don't we don't have to roll the blue, don't have to use our blue. Max logical beings governed by programs fall into the trap of gambling due to the absolute predictability they've been owned for too long. He rolls a ten sided die towards the unit. Fortunately, it doesn't land on one, and your unit upgrades as a result. I mean, I'll go for the random. Get a chance to select a one in. Get a chance to select one out of three common units, or I'll get a rare. Overclock. When loading energy, if the energy points is greater than or equal to six, overclock threshold, its effect is triggered. Generate a nine-point blue energy. Let's give it a crack. I, I want to give it a crack. So... Mm, we'll see. When needed, you can use call for support, shop repair, fuel. Okay. Each call for support can only be used once per game, so use it wisely. Shopping can be accessed one time per run. Fuel refill. That's really nice. I love that. That's so... What a smart idea. Once per run, you're not going to be screwed over by the map. You just get to choose. That's so good. Moon Shadow upon reaching zero durability, it switches to attack mode. Okay. It's a oh, it's a boss. Probably want to hover over. When facing unbeatable enemies, you can choose temporary retreat. You'll return to the state before the battle started. What are you saying? You think I can't win this? Is that what you're saying to me? Oh, 
You're saying I can't win this, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Hmm. When loading energy at the energy points, I'm assuming that we could put it in a four and a two and then make it work. The fact that they're not in attack mode yet, I guess, is something scary. Okay, well we don't have an even here and we didn't we didn't keep the bump. If we kept the bump, we would have been in a better spot for sure. Okay, they're about to be stunned too, so. I'm willing to take a little bit of a hit to beat this thing that the game told me I should run away from. Okay, now this is probably what... Activate only in vertical slash mode. Yeah, I got a feeling that's about to... Go giga. Got another five. I mean... Are they about to do infinite damage to me? I'm gonna... Wait, I'm gonna be able to beat him. The middle row is actually the best here. Hmm. Lol. You want me to run from this? Why? Bye bye. Uh, super cool. I love this. Restore all HP and fuel. Get a treasure. During a battle, the first attack unit that loads energy. During a battle, the first one gains two power. We can finally see the exact words for power. During each turn, power will. Oh no, power is different than. It was saying strength before. Power will provide additional strength for this unit after energy is loaded for the first time. So it's basically the first attack unit that gets energy put into it gets two free damage a turn. It doesn't look like it's every attack from it. For every newly gained unit, increase your max HP by one. Ooh, multi-cleaver. When the unit behind loads a white energy, it loads the identical energy one more t That's broken. That's guaranteed paracore. Guaranteed free paracore. That's so good. That solves that. Units. It's a legendary unit. How many we have? Shield. What does that mean? We get more max shield? Then we can't get whatever this is. We'd have to go bing, bang, boom. I really can't afford another unit. Lose 8 HP to gain 2 shield points. Lose 8 HP to gain a treasure. At the start of the first turn, all attack units gain 2 strength. Why not? Sure. Lose 8 star coins to get blank shield points. 8 to get 0 to 4. I'm a gambling man. Zero to four, though, means zero, one, two. And then the criticals are three and four. I'm a god. <laughs> gambling man. Uh, Tony introduces various shield enhancement concepts before starting to repair. Feeling dizzy, you choose the plan he offers, and in the end, he enhances your shield by four points. Okay, so shield is like... Gotcha. As a one-star hunter, you claim the bounties for the following criminals. You're promoted to a two-star hunter. Two-star hunter? No way. You better not end this demo. I'm having a blast. One second. If you want to know the upgraded effects of a unit, you can expand the upgrade preview window on the right side. Icon in the upper right indicates whether they've been upgraded. Uh, 
I love that. I do wonder if we can adjust these. That might be based on the ship, in fact, though. Also, I want to know about the different characters, because again, like, looking at the Steam store page, looks like there's 34 possible pilots, and some of them are cute animals, so... I don't know, dude. This game's very good. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they. Oh, you, you, you actually do just lock my energy. The good news is I don't really care. Get poop it on. All right. Poop. Okay, moving up. When this appears, they'll launch a fierce attack. A fierce attack, a powerful attack will be launched next turn. Why are you locking my energy? The enemy energy leftmost or rightmost from their hand. Gotcha. I'm already killing you. R.I.P. Shoot a laser out into space. <laughs> Kill a civilian out there. The start of the third turn, all attack units gain two power. After loading an energy, generate another energy whose color is one grade lower. Color is one grade lower. So this is... The lowest tier, middle tier, high tier. I, I assume there's much. Okay. And one blue. One one point blue. Gotcha. I mean, these are good, but I also just like, I'm not, I don't really have much of a worry. This is a passive. Two day vacation. Don't have a use for a unit. Gain a rare unit. Okay, I'm going to get a treasure just because I don't have space. All items in the shop have their price reduced by 25%. Great. I haven't even, have to, I haven't even, not even been to a freaking shop. Failure. Only take one damage. You lose the shockwave. Showdown to the strength of the units. The column is lower than that of the enemy. But what? Yeah? I know that. Oh, on failure, only take one damage. That's like... Gotcha. I thought failure was highlighted like it was a, I don't know, like it was a whole special thing. Rip. Rip. We need, I want another space for this. We're going to get the orange though. Powerful attack next turn. Oh my god. What? Why is this allowed? Why is this allowed? Huh. Should I take this? I think I'll take it. So these only take one damage. I have to go full crazy in the middle. For maximum success. Because these will only take one damage no matter what. Understood. So how are you supposed to deal with that guy then? I guess you would know exactly who you're fighting right ahead of time, and you would just build one really strong lane. When nearby units generate energy, gain a strength. 
Yeah, we need a new name for, like, this kind of shot. It's almost like, yeah, like a backpack hero or, like, a Dicey Dungeons in the sense where it's, like, it's like an invent... It's a kind of an inventory management RPG kind of a thing. Modification. I want to know what that is. Select one unit to increase an orange slot. Degrade its most advanced color slot by one level. I mean, that's kind of nice for this. So now we could possibly generate an extra energy, but it's like, I don't even know what to do with the freaking extra energy at this point. I need another, um... I need another gun that just takes two slots or something. Gain a power supply module. It's another... Yeah. It, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. I just don't have space. I'm getting a lot more modules than I have space for. Start of your turn, restore the HP to the nearest multiple of 10. Interesting. I will blast you unconditionally and not care about that. Because why would I do less damage to you just because? Zip. All right, and then we get to save this for next turn while still winning in all of the lanes. Works great. Repairing. A nine. We get a win in all the lanes this way. About to be doing a powerful attack, so breaking them before that seems really good. Alright. We're gonna blast you on all these anywho. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Ship weight limit up. That's super nice. When loading the first energy in battle, generate an energy of the same type. At the start of your turn, increase all orange energy by one point. I mean, that's pretty good for us. That, I know that this one's a rare and this one's not, but that mixed with, um... This, mixed with Overclock, in case that doesn't work that way. I mean, you know, like, that could be really, really good. This is going to give us so much energy that, like, I can't even use this anyways. So I think I'll go for this for now, and I will temporarily drop in that. energy resource. I gotta know. Remove a two-point. Remove a white energy source. I don't really want to remove a white energy source. I'll remove a two-point. Great. So we can kind of, like, modify our dice. Yeah. This is... The, the, I was not expecting when I came in that the closest analog to this would be Dicey Dungeons. <laughs> I know everyone's gonna say FDL because it's a ship from the top-down angle, but it's not that much like FDL. Um, let's go for an upgrade. Let's upgrade a unit. Ooh, that can take three. That's kind of a big deal for us. Yeah, I'll do that. Like, because I just need something that takes more dice. And whenever you load in any white energy to this, it gains two strength, so that works well. That's why I didn't want to remove white as well. This is a boss. Each stage requires you to arrest four wanted criminals. Great. After two turns, switch to the charge state. Activate under attack state. Hibernate under charge state. Gain a power while hibernating. 
So you, do you just ramp up? Is that what I'm gathering? Woo. Okay, let's do this first and let's see where we're at. Doesn't help us, does it? I can move again, I guess. Because that's... I, I can take one damage. To my shield. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it. I could have tried to put this in here, but I don't think this... It's a support unit. It doesn't generate attack. Oh, my lord. That's... A spicy meatball. If we do that, we actually are winning all the lanes anyways in the end. I think that's good. It's another durability down. Charging. Okay, finally we get a like a cooldown phase. We want to win all the lanes. I'm not even using this thing right now. Okay, broken. Love to see it. So they should be stunned now for a turn. Oh, you poor sap. Get energy back. Doesn't really matter where we put it. Good God. I made a monster. I made a freaking monster, man. Choose a treasure. Gain a seven point energy resource. That's pretty exciting. And that makes this like immediately interesting. Gain an orange and remove white. I don't think I want to do that just because of the pure white core right now. And we also have enough ways to generate orange right now. Like I see this is really good. This is what this is what's really nice about this game right now, too, is these treasure options are really good. They're just situational in the sense of, like, this is a really good thing on average, but this is just probably better for us right now, even though on average this would maybe not be the better choice. I think that's kind of fun. So, like, that adds the 7 to our potential pool. When a white energy is loaded to a nearby slot, gain it to strength. Uh, yeah, I should probably just do that. Whether or not I pop this out or not is the question. Because that's really good. When either of those gain an energy, this gains two strength, which it immediately will. Super, super good. Its bottom lane is becoming very strong. Do I do this then? Maybe. Remove the lowest point energy resource. We just can't have a one. Copy the highest. Copy the highest is really good right now. Remove the lowest graded color. Copy the highest. Exclusive to human. 30 star coins to get all of them. It's a little bit weird, but it's too good in general to pass up. Though what I don't love is removing that extra white source. I think it's going to be good. So I have a three day trip. I'm lower on the star coins now. <laughs> you know I wanna. <laughs> oh, you know I wanna. I'm gonna. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. I'll tell you what. If you get offered that in zone one, you take it. 
Is the demo really letting me do a full run? Like a straight up full on run? Or am I not playing the demo? Because I know that I have... I got an email from them. I just don't know. Let me just check. Am I playing a demo? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the demo. This is a demo. This, this right here is the free demo that you could play right now. That's crazy how much they're letting you do. What is this? After the enemy loads energy, all of your units rotate clockwise. Oogie. Probably should have even put in the orange, I guess, huh? This is crazy. Oh my god. Hello, sir. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't think that there's a... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think there's a world where we... Fully blast this here. Unless we move. Boonie. Uh, this is not going to be great for us anymore, but that's a really good thing in general. Whenever any unit loads an energy under six points, we really could abuse that. Like, I mean, still could. I might take it. Grants the front attack unit with loaded energy to extra strength. It's not bad. It's really not bad, but I will just grab this, I guess. Treasure. To max HP, gain a treasure. Take eight damage, gain a treasure. Lose two fuel, gain a treasure. These are all like, these are all worth it. I gotta tell you, I kind of love taking damage. During a turn, all attack units gain two strength when all slots are loaded with energy. That's that's a tough sell, but turn one we might be able to make that happen. Countdown three, all attack units gain thirty strength, and you will surrender at the start of the next turn. What the hell? One punch man, gotcha. Understood. Say less, I gotcha. Can't quite. I don't think. I, yeah, I just can't fill everything. Is there a reason I save this? I don't think so right now. It would be so that it turns orange, which I guess maybe would be a better call. All right. Next turn is a uh, is an uh oh moment. Oh, thank God. That is, that's a DPS check is what that is. When generating energy with it within a turn, the unit loads an identical energy. Oh my god, wait, that's really good. Oh, it's this specific one, though. I mean, I'll grab it regardless, but... Yeah, it's, it's that specific one. When your shield reaches zero at generate an energy, at the start of your turn, restore a shield point by one. Start your turn, generate a white energy. Hell yeah. For three fuel? Are you kidding me? Of course. I'm assuming this is the last fight... This one right here. Could be wrong. Failure damage taken doubles. Oh my friend. Get ready to take the double. 
Love that so much. Beep. Oh my god. Oh my god, we filled them all. Oh my god, 30, 30, 20. Boy, howdy. Is this something that's just true for you all the time? Put in the seven there. We win them all. You poor thing. Ship weight limit up. Start your turn, restore shield point, generate two more energy on odd number turns, and two fewer on... Eh, no. I ain't gonna miss that. Definitely get an upgrade. Upgrade units, plural. Upgrade rub. What the hell? Uh, I don't have. I don't think I'm gonna be using rubbing core right now. <sighs> eh. Choose three non-upgraded units, each with a 50% chance. Huh? Two more times. Gain four star. I mean, that's not bad. This being able to take two blue, that means it can take an orange or a blue. Which is really appealing. I mean, this is what? One damage, two damage, three damage, four. It's like four more damage a turn, maybe. This is two more damage a turn. That's utility. I think getting an upgrade... Well, I don't know. Do I want more slots at this point? I don't know if I want more slots at this point. Greater, greater than or equal to... Oops, I thought that was a less than equal. It doesn't matter. I'm not using it anyways. I cringe when streamer. Well, I wasn't using it, so who cares? <laughs> uh, I don't really know. Because if I, if I upgrade an extra slot on this, I don't know that I have the... It was a very rare turn for me to be able to use everything. So I'm kind of leaning towards upgrading this for utility. Oops. You know what? This is just a... This is a freebie. It's just free extra damage. It's not that exciting. Gain one common. Select a common unit. Add a blue slot to it. Ooh, interesting. Eh, doesn't really matter if we upgraded that. Well, whatever. At this point, I don't know that we're going to be filling up everything anyways. I don't know. It actually might be a better idea to literally not upgrade because of the perfect ring, which I really love. All right. Uh, give me a full repair. Do not consume. Oh, yeah. Okay. So restore that little bit of health. I think I'd rather have the fuel, to be honest. What do you got? After gaining this treasure, choose a unit to upgrade. That's pretty fun. When loading the first energy, generate one of the same type. Second turn, increase all energy points in your hand by two. Can I sell? Doesn't look like I can sell. Feels like you could definitely overflow. Started the battle, uh, the unit in the front gains one additional blue slot and one... That's really fun. I love that that's a thing. Not going to be doing anything with it. I don't want to spoil myself on these because I can tell you right now that I am going to want to play more. I really like this. If I cancel... Oh, God. I Because I kind of regret. I regret that. I regret it. Sure thing. 
we could get that stuff, but I don't even see why I would. I'm hoping the ship has not reached its weight limit. Oh, you are so true. You are true. I want something that is... I want a passive, because, I again, perfect ring, I think we could really mess some stuff up. Oh my god! Tell Mike I want to eat fish. Okay. Alrighty. Lol. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good, I'll take it. In each battle, so I'm not gonna be able to like Yeah, I can't I just can't dupe that again. We'd be chilling too hard. Okay. Here comes a nasty attack. We do have four movement to get the hell out of the way if we need to. That's a lot. You can only move once per turn. Oh. interesting at least I'm not dying I held off two entire lanes against that which is crazy Okay. To be paralyzed. Okay, good. Good. Good, thank God. And now we have a whole turn to... You have one health and I have a turn to do literally a full freaking blast. Is crazy. You poor thing. Cool. Extremely goodbye. Extremely goodbye. We've done it. Legendary victory. New unlocks. Look at these are all different. Like, Freaking characters. When restoring health, you gain the same amount of star coins. Start a battle. The attack unit at the spaceship center gains at the spaceship center gains three power. Inside the shop, you can steal an item for free, but you can't purchase other items. Twenty-five star coins earned. You can choose from different builds. Call for support. Choose one. Overclock. Try power. Start of at the battle. You for every five treasures you own, you generate an energy. That's so cool. Pilots and talents. 31. 31 freaking possible pilots. The official version will unlock all the content. Random talents. So these are all things that can show up. I. Uh, what the hell, man? This game is so good. Let me check this here for a second. Unlock at level 10. I have a sneaking suspicion. Let me see if the store page has anything about the amount of ships. Apologies. Will I have the music of the Steam store page? Um. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about there being more different ships at this point. But it does say that it's going to be planned to be released in early access. Which means there's always going to be possibilities. The fact that it's going to release in early access with 31 pilots, to, like maybe even more, is fundamentally crazy.
This game is so, so good. Hey, devs, what's we got to do to get a go a retromation right here? Level 54. What's a guy got to do? Um, I love this. I love this so, so much. Uh, in a way that I guess I wasn't fully expecting from the Steam store page and everything like that. I thought I was like, I was like, yeah, that looks cool. It looks like I would something I would like, but this is something I love. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Go check it out now. Go play the demo. Go wishlist. It's definitely like, it's really interesting to see because, yeah, one of the closest things to this is Cobalt Core that I played like this week. So obviously these games were being developed simultaneously. It's not like anyone's, either one's copying from each other. They were first announced in the same Steam Next Fest. So it's like very coincidental that they're like these spaceship lane based vaguely deck buildy in this case but deck builder in the other case uh kind of tactics games but i really really like it i think it's just super super satisfying go check this one out hearty recommendation link at the top description my name is retromation cover indie games every single day with an extra special lead roguelikes and roguelites if that is something you are into this is a channel you most definitely should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye